the players that I had, apart from the fact that a few of them retired from international football, some of what were left weren't good enough. You know, we had to do something different. And this is where Brian, Brian Flynn did a fantastic job. I mean, when I see all these players coming through and I look at the team now that Wales are, are, are putting out, uh, of 14 players in the last game, 11 of them made their debuts with us. And we've been gone almost seven years. So that tells you there are some, some aspects of Chris's job at the moment that are an awful lot easier than what we had, you know. Uh, I said to you earlier, I think you can't buy players and you can't sell them either. And we would have sold a few if we could have. <laughs> uh, so you're virtually stuck with what you've got. But it was quite clear to us that what we had weren't going to get us where we wanted to go. It's rewarding in some way to see particularly the performances in the last European Championships, how they got there and how they performed, that, uh, that I have a story for every one of these players, you know, when they were 18, 19, 20, 21. Um, and, and as well, uh, whilst we're at it, a system that we used, which was criticised in some parts by people uh, who had not never seen a Premiership match, uh, the same system was used in the recent European Championships by Chris Coleman. In many ways, okay, in some ways people can say it was a, uh, not a defeatist attitude, but, but a way of, of, of uh, damage limitation, if you like, which is something that, if you know me, I've never... You don't work at Real Madrid and Liverpool and, and have a damage limitation mentality. But at that particular time, there was a thing we needed to be careful that these young lads weren't given any hammerings that could, that, that, that could cause damage. With the injuries as well, it was difficult, difficult times. I really felt at times that, uh, that I'm with my hands behind my back here, I can't get... And six, six, six and a half years uh, was, was a bit of suffering there. But at the end of the day, to see them all do so well in the last, in the last European Championships, uh, I remember speaking to, to Brian about it and saying, well, maybe it took a little bit longer than we, we would have liked, but it's great, it's great to see them do as well as they did. And with the manager, of course, someone that, that I coached when he was playing with my eldest lad, Cameron, as a 10 or 11-year-old.